Good day everyone and welcome back to your online class for food and beverage services in C2. I'm your teacher, Mr. Malang Bernabe. I would like to welcome you for another set of video lesson that we are going to discuss for today. So I hope you're all doing fine as well as me. I'm doing well. Although I'm work from home, but, but I'm always safe. And praise God that you are all good. So for today's video lesson class, we are going to discuss the different kinds of style for table napkin. What is the use of table napkin? What are the importance of table napkin? And what are the different names and style of table napkin and their uses? So I'm going to demonstrate all of these 15 demonstration of table napkin then I'm going to discuss also on how to present the table napkin to the assessor during your assessment. This is the technique class for you to pass the assessment. So please watch and hope that this video will serve you as a guide to perform your first demonstration in your house. I know you are comfortable doing this because our laboratory is now online. I know you will be comfortable of this because you will be performing your task, your demonstration, straight from the comfort of your own resident. So stay safe and relax. So let's start and let's tackle the different kinds of table napkin. But first, we're going to discuss what is table napkin. So what is table napkin class? The table napkin is a type of creative folding that is done with the use of a napkin. It can be done or made as an art, as a work, or as a hobby. It is popularly and widely known to be encountered as table design or decoration in fancy restaurants. Usually, a tablecloth class is a clean, pressed, smooth, and start square cloth napkin is used which can either be linen or cotton for best and perfect result the napkin should be start so that is the definition what is table napkin folding and what is the importance of table napkin so napkin class is one of the most essential elements in table decorations. It adds color, designs, and it makes the table design aesthetically placing and appealing to the eyes. It is also important not just to add color, but also to highlight the theme of the events. For example, if it is flower theme event, the table napkin fold is most likely to look like a little something like a flower. So there is the so-called jiving an event. So if you are going to fold the table napkin class, it should jive an event. And that we are going to discuss later. The name of the table napkin and what event that fits the table napkin you fold. So there is a so-called synchronization. If you fold a certain table napkin, it should fit a specific event that suit your table napkin fold. So I hope you are ready now for my demonstration for the 15 unique art of table napkin folding. Remember that there are three styles in table napkin folding. If the table napkin is placed on the glass, that is called shoe style. If the table napkin is placed on the top of the table, it's called side style. But if the table napkin is placed on top of the plate, that is called center style. So remember the three styles. We have the shoe style, side styles, and center style. So are you ready for my demonstration? So let's start and watch the video. Welcome back to my residence class and welcome to my simple mess and we are now ready to perform our demonstration for the table napkin. So are you ready? Let's do this!
So on my table class, I have already prepared uh, the five pieces of glass and the five pieces of the plates because the table napkin presentation should perform in three styles. If the table napkin perform or place on top of the plate that is called center style and if the table napkin is placed on top of the glass that is called shoe style and if the table napkin is placed on top of the table that is called center style. So let's start. The first table napkin that we are going to perform class is the shoe style. And we are going to use only one style. Use this technique in performing your table napkin in your residence. Let's start with table napkin number one. The twin candle. The next one is the same style, rolling, but we are going to make now the two legs. You fold like this, then you roll. The same with that twin candle. Then, as you see, they are the same. But if you are going to knock down the other one and put like this, then you open the leaf so that's become a tulip the next one we are going to perform is the so-called birds of paradise you fold half you fold another half then, from the tip, you're going to put that on top. Then, please, on the top, you're going to fold, slide down both sides. Then, fold these two on the inner part, like this. Then, open. Then, knot the following. One, two, three, four. And there you have it. A beautiful birds of paradise. The next is the so-called floor de lis. You fold like this. Then lift. Then you fold alternately. Like this, like that, and the same on the other side. And there you have it. The floor delete. Then you put this into the glass. So floor delete. The next is the most common, the long candle. Fold like this, square half, then fold at least two inches, then cleave, then from the end, you roll. Roll until the end. There you have it. And then lock. Then put it on the glass. And there you have it, the long candle. So those are for the shoe style. And next, we are going to perform table napkin that is placed on top of the plate, which is called center style and the first one is the so-called armadillo you fold like this half you fold another half then fold 
boss half, square half, then fold. So you put that on top of the plate, then you add this one. One, two, and three. So you have the our medallion. The next one is the most common and very well known, the pyramid. You put square half, then fold, then fold like this. So you have pyramid. The next one is the so-called water lily. Here we go. Fold both ends on the center. Then, from both of these ends, you're going to put it again on the center, like this. Fold. Again. And this one. After folding that, you clip. Then, from both ends, you put that again into the center. One, two, three, and the last one here, four. Then from this one, hold the center, then insert your finger, then pull out the first left, this one. One, two, and three and four so there you have it the water lady next we have the so-called snail you fold half you roll both sides sideward Then lift. Then from this end, you fold and insert this one in the inner part. There you have it, class. That's meal. Next. Is the same style of folding you fold like this same with the snail then roll both sides then you have it the so-called squeeze so those are the table napkin that is placed on top of the plate that is called center style. And now, we are going to perform the five table napkin that is placed on top of the table that is called side style. And the first one is the envelope. So you have here the envelope. The next one is the so-called banana. Then fold back. Then flip. Then roll. Insert the end. And then Peel this one, peel the banana, pull, pull it down like this. So you have 
the banana. The next class is the so-called the French fold. You fold this like this. You fold half of this. There. Then fold like this. So you have there the French fold. The next we have small candle. Roll. Then from the tip you are going to make at least three inches up high. Then you roll. Roll, then lock. The ends is locked here. And you have there the small candle. And the last one for the table napkin is placed on top of the table. For the side style, we have the sock, the cord. The same fold like banana, but the difference is we are going to insert the filling. Insert this one. Then, you instead of doing this like banana, you insert this one here. Then, you also insert it here. So you have there the the corn to present class in your assessment in facing with your assessor you're going to introduce your 15 unique art of table napkin by doing this first you are going to introduce your name and you are going to introduce first what are those table napkin is placed on the glass and what are those table napkin are placed on the plate and what are those table napkin that is placed on top on the table and their uses. So, do like this. Example. Hi there sir, hi there ma'am, good afternoon. I'm Mr. Bernabe Balang, presenting to you a 15 unique art of table napkin folding. If the table napkin is placed on the glass, this is called shoe stack. If the table napkin is placed on the plate, that is called center stack. If the table napkin is placed on top of the table, this is called side stack. And for my shoe style, we have here the so-called the twin candle. The twin candle is most commonly used for wedding. And the second one, we have here the two legs. The two left napkin folding is most commonly be seen for the bow party. And the next one for shoe style, we have the birds of paradise. Birds of paradise class is used for special occasion like weddings and anniversaries. For floor delays, this is a table napkin used for a special occasion or event like anniversaries. And for the long candle, it is used for any religious activities like fiestas or any religious activities. And for the center style, we have here the armadillo is used for formal lunch. While pyramid is used for formal occasions or dinner day, while water lily is used for a special occasion like weddings and anniversaries, and the snail, the snail is used for 
beach party or kiddie party. While squid is also used for beach party or any event while on the resorts or beach. And for the center style, for the side style, we have here the envelope. The envelope is used for business conference or meetings, while banana napkin fold is used for kiddie party, and small candle is used for baptism. French fold is used for formal breakfast or lunch or dinner. Then the corn napkin fold is used for any Thanksgiving party. And that's all. Thank you. So how are you going to present during the assessment? So I hope you can do the same. And I'm waiting. I am very excited to wait your video in your video presentation for the 15 unique art of table napkin folding. So this is, has been your teacher, Mr. Mala Bernabe is now signing off. Thank you for watching.